Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics, back with another year-end roundup to look at my most popular uploads from 2022. Last year I had a big hitter with my Neon Light Effect Photoshop tutorial, which gained over 1 million views in 2021, and has continued to dominate in my YouTube analytics dashboard. I haven't had quite as much success this year, but stick around till the end to see which of my tutorials achieved first place spot. So skipping past all the videos that didn't make the cut to start this year's countdown at 10th place with 13,000 views is this double colour exposure photoshop tutorial. 75% of views to this video are from YouTube recommendations, so it seems to be one that the algorithm favours. In 9th place is my tutorial on how to create vintage designs the easy way using the great tools by my friends at Kittle. This brilliant creative tool really does make it so much easier to build certain design styles like this much easier than in Photoshop or Illustrator. This year's roundup actually features quite a few remakes of some of my classic tutorials from my Spoon Graphics blog. This tutorial on creating a vector character was first published as a written tutorial in 2012, but 10 years later it's now been remastered and has achieved 16,000 views so far. Interestingly, over the last 10 years, the original written tutorial has only gained a total of 3,000 views, so it just goes to show how much more exposure these tutorials can get on YouTube. One of my most popular tutorials of all time on this channel is my guide to creating a duotone effect. This year I shared a video showing 5 ways to create the duotone effect, which has gained 17,000 views so far. Hopefully this video will also go on to garner a high view count over time, since it seems the duo tone effect is still pretty popular. My retro striped text effect tutorials have always been popular on both my YouTube channel and Spoon Graphics website. Previous tutorials all used Illustrator, so this year I shared a guide on creating the same retro text effect but using Photoshop instead. According to its stats this video saw typical performance for the first 3 months, but then saw an uptick in views which has pushed it to 22,000 views so far. Let's hope it goes on to perform as well as the Illustrator version I posted in 2019, which now has 295,000 views. Another tutorial that attempts to tag onto the success of a previous video is my tutorial How to Create a Colourful Stacked Text Effect. The technique is taken from my Retro Text Effects with Illustrator's Blend Tool video from a couple of years ago, but it goes a little more in depth with some additional steps to add a vibrant colour scheme. With 25,000 views and coming in at 4th place is my tutorial how to create a geometric triangle pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Geometric patterns like this are a classic Spoon Graphics tutorial topic. I have several of them going way back to the early days of my Spoon Graphics blog. This latest tutorial has seen above average performance and is another video that seems to have taken off 3 months after its publish date. Into the top 3 now and we have another tutorial that revisits an older topic. I originally posted a pixel sorting tutorial in 2018, which now has 90,000 views. It seems the effect is still popular with this new tutorial getting 27,000 views over the past 8 months. That original 2018 video is losing steam now. This new version has almost 10 times as many views over the past 30 days. So hopefully this tutorial will also reach 90,000 views and beyond over the next few years. Of all the tutorial remakes and revisited topics this year, this video on how to create detailed bitmap effects in Photoshop was actually a completely fresh tutorial idea that I haven't covered before. This one skyrocketed right from day one and has continued to perform well since. It's seen over 1.7 million impressions from YouTube recommendations, so this video has certainly pleased the YouTube algorithm for it to be displayed so much on the homepage. This tutorial is also my most liked video this year with 7000 thumbs up ratings. That's double the amount of my best performing video this year. And that best performing video for 2022 is my tutorial on how to create a watercolour painting effect in Photoshop. This one is actually a remake of one of the first uploads on the Spoon Graphics YouTube channel from 2015, tweaked and updated slightly to bring it up to date with some new techniques. In 7 years the original video gained 26,000 views, but this new version already has over 83,000. So there we have my top 10 most popular videos from 2022. Links to them all are down in the description if you want to check them out in full. Let me know down in the comments if any of my other tutorials stood out to you. Otherwise thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you next year with some fresh tutorial content for 2023.
and maybe also some remakes and revisited topics from previous decades, since they seem to have performed pretty well the second time round. <laughs> 